Hello everybody, welcome to That's Football. Uh, just a quick apology, no overlays because I'm about to go live on the United stand for the Galatasaray game, but I had to react to the VAR audio that we were demanding on the show earlier um, has been released and I'm absolutely stunned. So if you've not listened to it, I'm sure many of you have, they've played out what actually happened in the Liverpool Spurs game on Saturday night. And I mean, too many cooks spoil the broth. How many prats does it take to uh, uh, change a light bulb? I mean, it's incredible. Absolutely incredible to listen to. And I've got to be honest, I have said this a few times. Some people have applauded the audio that comes out uh, when, when everything's gone right for VAR. I've always said it sounds chaotic. It sounds chaotic. You've got the, the people in the VAR room, you've got the people on the pitch, you've got the fourth official. It, it, it's To me, it sounds like it's just people competing to talk. And, and it is absolutely no surprise that when you've got a scenario like that, information gets missed. Because everyone's talking over top of each other. No one's listening properly. All they're hearing is, yes, yes, check. Oh, can I go ahead? Go ahead. So basically what happens is um, the guy who's looking at it knows it's offside. and So it knows it's onside. He's trying to communicate that. Somebody else hears it differently. Yeah, you can carry on. Oh, yeah, we'll carry on. They carry on. And then the guy's going, no, it's onside. You need to delay the game. And they're going, no, we can't do that. We can't do that. We've got to play on. I mean, this is incredible. This is incredible. In football, this has happened loads of times where the game's gone on for a minute and you can go back for a penalty check. They've absolutely destroyed themselves. I don't agree with the individuals being banned at the weekend. That is an absolute protocol nightmare. It doesn't reflect well on the individuals, but it, it, more importantly, the system is broken. You, that is the perfect bit of audio to see the system is broken, right? I don't know whether you've ever been on medication. I'm sure some of you have. You might have had a sore throat. You might have, you know, some sort of disease. Um, look, I don't know. It's not about business. But my point is, sometimes you go to the doctor, they'll give you some medicine and they'll say, eat it with food, right? So, you know, yeah, you have it with your breakfast, you have it with your tea. Imagine going, oh my God, I forgot to take my medication. I've just eaten my last bite. We can't have it then. What do you mean? Well, you can't have it. You're meant to have it with food. I've literally just eaten my last bite. Give me the medication. You can't have it. That's the rules. Stupid. Absolutely stupid. And it doesn't really... Of course, we can all scapegoat the individuals, but that could happen in any game. You listen to that audio. It can happen in any game because basically they're following protocol. They're basically going, I can't do anything now. The game's restarted. And yet we've seen it happen when with penalties. The whole system is broken. They're all talking over each other. It, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like some sort of dick measuring competition. Uh, not that I've ever been to one, but my point is, they're, it's just it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a room full of ego. That They're just full of ego. And they're just like, no this, no this. Oh, I can't do it now. Oh, I can't do it now. Nonsense. If I was one of those officials, I would be like, stop this game. Well, the, the computer says, no, stop it. No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. So I tell you what then, when you want the VAR thing in five minutes, we're just going to keep telling you stop the game because it was onside. Well, we can't do that. We can't do that. Stop the game. I can't do that. I can't do that. Right. We're just going to keep saying it to you for 10 minutes. We're going to keep saying stop the game and it's going to be on you. Stop the game. Nothing's happened since that onside. It's a throw into Spurs. Stop the game. Tell the referee. That's what should have happened because that protocol is an absolute joke. And I tell you what, I will say this nice and easy, whether that's Liverpool, Bournemouth or bloody Arsenal, it doesn't matter. With the release of that audio, I think Liverpool have got everything they need to go and take it further. If Liverpool drop that now and go, you know what, thanks for releasing the audio. Thanks for the, thanks for the apology. Um, we'll leave it at that. Absolutely not. You can understand why they wanted the audio and now it's out there. I think rest in peace VAR because that this whole, you know, Gary Neville, Jamie Carragher, Howard Webb lov loving a few weeks ago where they're on a Monday night going, and, and Gary and Jamie, this is how it works. Well, look, we've, we, 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 we've, we've correctly called it uh, as a penalty. There's conversation between him and him. Pat on the back, pat on the back. This is how it works. But actually, nine times out of ten, I bet it's exactly what we've just heard in that. And I, I, I guarantee... There's also been many near misses because the way they communicate, don't listen and follow protocol when they bloody choose to, because that's what's in the rule book is incredible. And let's not forget the rule book will say once the game's restarted, you can't interject. Whoever wrote that, Mr. Bean, I don't bloody know, is a prat. And that's the problem. Don't let them 
pin this on individual errors because they did that before with the Arsenal game and the guy never, I don't think he's ever refereed again. Don't let them do it again. Don't, don't let them try and protect themselves by pinning it on individual error. Quite clearly, there is a mess up in training and he clearly says, delay the game and gets told he can't do it. He can't do it. He's not allowed to do that. So there's some breakdown in communication, training or the actual rules. And to me, it comes across that the rules they have in place are completely and utterly ridiculous. And more importantly, it comes across that these people don't know a bloody thing about football. Why have you got linesmen drawing bloody lines? And I know that sounds stupid because they're a linesman, but these people have been trained to run up and down a football pitch, blow a whistle, put a flag up. You've got them there going, can I have the three 2D line, please? Yep, looks good. Look, I mean, if, if, if you're going to use that technology, don't train somebody who's trained to run up and down a touchline. Get an absolute top of the range technology that people know how to work methodically in the best league in the world. We ain't ready for this. And I think the great thing about that audio coming out is that we can see and hear as clear as day that we are not ready to use this technology. And why, why has that, allowed to ha has that been allowed to happen? Because I tell you what, if I was Howard Webb, I'd have seen that coming a mile off. And your job as the, you know, as the chief executive of an organisation is to see the risks. And I can't believe that Howard Webb's been in that job and previous people have not have been in that job, not listened to the conversations going on and gone, this is a recipe for disaster. I said it when we had first heard it this season. Remember when they were, you know, as I say, oh, look at this, we're so great. And I was listening to it and I was like, this ain't good. There's too many people talking. There's too many people not listening. And when that happens, mistakes are made. And, and it, it is. You've got so many people talking about so many different things, so many voices going on. And I know, I don't think they all hear each other at the same time. I think there's sort of like one going to one and one going to the other. I think the fourth official goes to the referee, etc., on the pitch. But it's chaotic. It's absolutely chaotic. And straight away, how would you solve that? I'd have one voice at Stockley Park, I'd have one voice uh, from the referee, and I'd have one voice from the official. And it might take a little bit longer, but they get used to it. There's too much information there, and 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 and, and it's getting missed. Um, so yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not, uh, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm absolutely. Well, I'm not stunned by it, but I think it's, I, th I think the next step's going to be really interesting. I watch what Liverpool do now, and and I think other clubs should pile on as well. It's an absolute joke. And it's costing people points. Um, get your comments in below. I've got to go and do the Champions League watch along the United stand. But uh, I did just want to react to it. Absolutely incredible.